Hi, I'm Mark Niedergang. I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor and I'm running for re-election. I've served three terms as the Ward 5 City Councilor. Before that, I represented Ward 5 on the school committee for four terms. So I've had the honor of representing Ward 5 for almost 14 years now as an elected official. I don't have an opponent in the November 5th election, but I ask Ward 5 residents for your vote anyway. And I'm grateful that I've been elected seven times already to represent Ward 5, and I'm hoping that I'll have one more. I want to thank you all for your support, for all the feedback that I get, and for the intense engagement that Ward 5 residents have in the affairs of the city. While I'm not running a campaign, since I don't have an opponent, I do want to speak to the Somerville community and to Ward 5 residents about what I think is important for our city going forward and what I want to do in the next two years, assuming that I'll be reelected. I think it's incumbent upon anybody running for public office to tell the voters and the community what they want to do if they're elected. City government should, of course, provide the basics, excellent local services such as schools, public safety, good, stra good trash collection, uh, care of streets, and city government should manage the city's finances effectively. These are very important. Government should be honest and transparent and competent, of course. But most important, in my mind, is that city government, and in fact, all levels of government, must have a heart. I want to share with you a few quotations that I deeply love that express my feelings about government's role and goals and what's important in government. The first one is by Hubert Humphrey, former senator from Minnesota and former vice president of the United States. He said, the moral test of government is how it treats those who are in the dawn of life, the children, those who are in the twilight of life, the aged, and those who are in the shadows of life, the sick, the needy, and the handicapped. Another quote from Pearl S. Buck, the, uh, the wonderful author, she wrote, the test of a civilization is in the way that it cares for its helpless members. A third quote is by Walter Mondale, uh, also former uh, senator from Minnesota and vice president. Walter Mondale said, there are three legs to the stool supporting American democracy, free and competitive enterprise, a commitment to the process of open democracy, and social justice. And finally, I want to share with you a quote from the great law of the Iroquois Confederacy. They said, in our every deliberation, we must consider the impact of our decisions on the next seven generations. So I wanted to share these quotations with you to give you a sense of my personal approach towards serving as an elected official and my views about what government should be doing. And I think these quotes reflect it. So next, I want to tell you about some of the things that I've been a part of, that I've helped to accomplish, that I'm most proud of and that I think are most important. As chair of the Legislative Matters Committee of the City Council, I've helped to pass a lot of important legislation over the last two years. We passed a uh, real estate transfer fee home rule petition up to the state legislature where it's being considered. We passed a strengthened condominium conversion ordinance and an ordinance regulating short-term rentals like Airbnb. We passed a welcoming community ordinance to make it clear that immigrants would be safe here in Somerville. We passed a tree preservation ordinance for, which for the first time uh, will regulate, is regulating, uh, will regulate, starts on August 1st, will regulate uh, the cutting of trees on private property. Uh, owner occupants are exempt, but developers and uh, absentee landlords will now, if they cut down big trees, they will need to pay into a tree fund or they will need to replant. A uh, second thing that I have done is been very involved in revising the city's zoning code. I led the way in passing a 20% inclusionary affordable housing amendment so that 20% of all large projects, 20% of all the units need to be affordable. And I've also been working on amending the proposed zoning overhaul to make uh, more affordable housing required for new development. And finally, 
I'm very proud of how responsive I've been and the constituent service that I provided to my constituents in Ward 5. This is really the heart of a ward counselor's job. I've worked with many groups of neighbors around development projects, either to fight them if they were bad projects or to make them better if they weren't. Now I want to talk about the next two and a quarter years, uh, this year and then 2020 and 2021, what I hope to accomplish. Uh, and, and this is in the order of my priorities. First, we need more traffic calming in the city. We need to make our streets safer for pedestrians and bicyclists. Just this past weekend, a second pedestrian was killed this year uh, on Mystic Avenue. And this is unacceptable. Uh, you know, the people who, who killed these poor women who died, they were terrible drivers. But we need to have infrastructure on our streets that prevent people from driving fast enough to kill people. We have a lot of work to do in this area. Uh, I'm hopeful that we can make a lot of progress in the coming years, but this is my top priority. Secondly, our parking policies are outmoded and work terribly for everybody. We need to reform them. What I like to say is we need the parking revolution in Somerville. There's lots of good stuff being done around the country on parking. We need to be part of that. Third, I'd like to pass the proposed uh, citywide comprehensive zoning overhaul that we've been working on for five years. The administration is presenting a fourth version of that zoning overhaul this fall, and I'm looking forward to working on it and hopefully to passing it. Uh, fifth, I want to continue to pass legislation in the Legislative Matters Committee, such as a stronger demolition review ordinance that will uh, prevent developers from knocking down historical properties. Uh, a surveillance ordinance uh, to regulate police surveillance, uh, more tenant protections such as a Housing Stability Notification Act, and also a tenant right of uh, first refusal to purchase a unit when it goes up for sale. Affordable housing is really the number one issue in Somerville, and I want to continue to work on that. There are many counselors who are doing great work on this, so I don't feel like I need to lead the way. But two of the things that I'm interested in exploring, in addition to all the things that we have already done, are an affordable housing overlay district, and then looking into setting a goal for something like 30% of all the housing units in Somerville being affordable by 2040. I'd like to see this considered as part of the Summer Vision 2040 process. Uh, a sixth goal is to get the Union Square redevelopment started before the economic recession comes. We don't want to have uh, a rubble-strewn lot in the middle of Union Square for the next 10 years. And if we get a recession soon, which I think we will, and the project isn't going, uh, who knows what can happen. Uh, finally, an overwhelming and uh, overriding goal, which the Iroquois Confederation quote speaks to, uh, what they said is, in every deliberation, we must consider the impact of our decisions on the next seven generations. The environment, uh, climate change, the city's goals of carbon neutrality, uh, these are critical issues. Even though we're one small city uh, in a big world, everybody needs to do its part if we're going to prevent global warming from creating a global catastrophe. So strengthening environmental protection legislation in Somerville, developing more green and open space, doing everything that we can to reduce the city's carbon footprint is something that I will be focusing on over the next two years. So thank you for listening to me. Uh, again, I appreciate the support of Ward 5 voters. And uh, if you are in Ward 5, even though I don't have an opponent, I'd love to have your vote on November 5th. And thank you all.